want to clone one voice to another voice this video will learn how to do that right on your pc okay guys i have already shown how to install pinocchio browser several times so i'll just link to one of my previous videos and you can check it out once you have pinocchio on your pc i guess open it up and go to discover tab and here, go ahead and search for RVC. Once you see the RVC card, click on it, and then, you know, click on download. Then once you see the install, go ahead and click the install button. Now, once you have RVC installed, click on launch here. Once it's finished launching, it will either show this UI right there on Pinocchio browser or just pop it out to your default browser on your PC. This is your home page. It has several tabs. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to focus on how to train your custom model and then run an inference on that model. Once you're on this page, go to train tab and then give it a name. I'm going to use Trump's speech to uh, train this model. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to call it Trump English or something. Uh, keep everything as it is. Now we want to give the path name of your training input audio in this field here. So you just go ahead and grab the folder path and then paste that path here. Uh, then click on process data. Now that we've finished pre-processing step, uh, we need to run feature extraction. Most of these default values should be fine here. It will show you your graphics card details here, if you have a graphics card, obviously. And then for pitch extraction algorithms, you have five options. I am just using this option, RMVP GPU. Uh, it says it has the best results and consumes less CPU and GPU. So I'm just going to select it and run feature extraction. I will tell you that uh, when I was running this the first time, I, I got some error saying rmvpe.pt or something was missing. So I had to download it from the internet and copy that file in the folder that the script is expecting the file to be in. Finish. I think we're done here. Now for the final step, we need to, um, you, you do have an option for one click training. For some reason, it's not working for me. So uh, what I suggest you do is just go ahead and, you know, update some of these values to values based on your use case. I will just set it to and something and I'll find for 50 to make quicker here. Uh, you will probably want to play around and find the best values for your CPU and I'll match size to 10. Select yes here and then no is fine. And then small final models to wait folders at each save point. I'll just do no here uh, and then I'll do train model. This will take some time, so I'll come back once it's done. This can give you an error message kind of thing here, but if you look at the script, it is running. So just let it run. And so just pay attention to the script terminal instead of web UI. I will tell you that I was running this for the first time. I did get some errors. One was the one I mentioned earlier where a file called rmvpe.pt was missing, so I had to download it and put it in the folder that the script is expecting it to be in. It will it will tell you which folder in the error. Another one was uh, some error related to matplotlib, so I had to go ahead and install version three. After that, this did those two things. It was able to run the whole training process. I think this is done now. It says Trump English saving final checkpoint success. Let's go back to our web UI. Let's go to model inference. 
and we'll need to refresh the voice list and index path and select the model from here trump english and i am going to use audio of meryl strip i will just copy as path go back to my web ui and paste it here i'll need to remove these quotations since the training audio was of trump speaking which is lower octave and the inference audio is of Merrill speaking, which is high pitch, we will need to do minus 12 here so that Merrill Streep's high pitch voice is converted nicely to Trump's low pitch voice. Once we've done this and given the audio path, and then I'll select RMVP. This is the algorithm I use to run the training. So I'll just use this one and click on convert. This should be quick compared to other steps. Let's play it and see how it. When they called my name, I had this feeling I could hear half of America going, oh no. Uh, how about why? Her again. You know, but you know, whatever. First, I may thank Dawn because when you thank your husband at the end of the yeah. speech, and that is compared to <laughs> when they called my name, I had this feeling I could hear half of America going, Oh no, <laughs> oh come on, why? I'll play it again, play the result. <laughs> when they called my name, I had this. Feeling I could hear half of America going, oh no, uh, how about why, her, again, you know, but you know, whatever. First, I may thank Dawn, because when you thank- Yeah, as you can see, it does the job pretty well. Obviously, it's not perfect, and we probably shouldn't expect it to be, but I, I believe it is the it is one of the best models that you can run locally at the moment there are other uh, closed source models at cloud solutions that may do the job better than this one but for running model locally this is the best we can get i think yeah this is all i had today Feel free to play around, train using your own voice or some other voice, use it, you know, infer your trained model to songs. Just make sure to choose voices that have less noise as much as you can. Uh, play around with the parameters. If you like this video and want to see similar contents, please like the video, comments with any questions. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.